Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that on our YouTube channel at Code Bashers, we have started the Capgemini preparation series for 2026 batch on campus. And in this particular video, I will be discussing the previously asked coding questions. Total two coding questions I will be discussing in detail. Okay, so guys, make sure that you are watching this video till the end because same type of questions can also be asked in your Capgemini exam. Okay, and guys, previously also. I have made a, uh, a video regarding the pseudocodes that have been asked in Capgemini. So if you have not checked that video till now, do check it. The link of this playlist I will give you in the i button or in the description box. After watching this video, make sure to check this video as well. Okay. If you have any doubts regarding any of the company hiring that are going on or any other things, you can always write in the comment section or you can join our telegram group. Okay. The link again you will find in the description box. So guys, now let's start this video. Before moving ahead, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because for different different companies, we are continuously making the preparation series on this channel. Okay, so your like and subscribe will motivate us for making more such videos. So now let's continue with the video. Okay, so guys, the first coding question is write a function to accept a string and move all the hash characters to the front while keeping the other characters in their relative position. So here the constraints are given. So the input length of the string will be from 1 to 100. Okay, the string will only contain the alphabets and hash. So for example, let's just see with the help of example, we have move hash hash to front. Okay, so you can clearly see here what we have done. Okay, so all the alphabets which are not hash are at the their relative position and have moved backwards and all the hashes that are present inside the string are in the front of the string. So we have to do nothing, but we have to iterate over the string. We have to put all the hash in the front of it and all the alphabets together in the relative position. Relative position means that M is coming first, then M is coming first, then O, O, V, V, E and so on. So the relative position of alphabets should remain same and all the hash that are present inside the string should come in the front of that string only. Okay, so I hope now the question is clear to you. It's very straightforward. Let's just quickly move towards the approach of this question. So we are given uh, move hash to hash front. This is the input that is given to us. What we will do? We will do nothing. We will just iterate over the string one by one. We will take a variable called final string. Okay, final str. It will be initialized with empty and we will take a count variable. Okay, this count variable we are taking, it will have the number of hash, hash values inside the string. So it will be initialized with zero only. So what we'll do, we will we have now taken two variables and we will be iterating over the string. So first comes M. So when any alphabet other than hash comes, what we'll do, we will simply add it to, to the final string. So we'll add M to the final string. Then comes O. Again, we'll add it to the final string. Then comes V and then comes E. We have added them to the final string. Now comes the hash. So when once the hash comes, we will do nothing, but we'll increment the count value by one. Okay. So we will do nothing, just increment the count value by one. Then comes T, so we will add it here. Then comes O, we will add it here. Then comes hash, so again we will increment the count value to two. Then comes F, so we will add it here. Then comes R, we will add it here. Then O, N and T. So you can see here, the final str becomes moved to front and all the hashes are removed. Now see, what we'll do, we know that total two hash were there in the original string. So we will do nothing, but we will simply add two hashes in the front of final str and then the final str will be as it is. So move to front. So you can see here that all the hashes have come ahead of the string and the rest of the string remains relatively correct. So this is the entire approach of this particular question. I hope the approach is clear to you. Now let's just move quickly towards the coding part of this particular question. So guys, now for saving time, I have already written the code here. So what we have done, so we have done, we have first taken the input as string. We have defined two variables, str, let's suppose final str, and we have defined the count variable. Count variable is for the how many hashes are present inside the input string. So we will be iterating over the string. If the current value is hash, we will do count plus plus. If the current value is other than hash, we will simply add that particular character inside our new string. Okay, this is how we have added it. So once the loop is over, everything will be added towards the string and all the hashes count will be stored inside this particular variable. Now what we'll do, we have to add, uh, we have to add all the hashes in the front of the string. So we will loop over the count value. Okay. And this is the final str. 
okay sorry so this is the final str uh, yeah this is the final str so we will add all the hash these many hash count hash in the front of the final str and in the end we will simply print final str so i hope now the code is also clear to you now let's just quickly run it so move hash hash where is hash hash to front so let's just see what it returns so it should return two hashes in the front and then move to front so yeah you can see two hashes to the front and then move to front so guys this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you i hope now the question approach and code is clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the second question of this video but before moving ahead make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel Okay, so guys, before moving ahead, I would like you to know that on our top mid page of Code Bashers, we have Capgemini exam preparation material. So guys, the, all the sections that are getting asked in the Capgemini exam, whether it is a technical MCQs, pseudo codes, coding questions, gaming questions, or essay writing questions. So for all these sections, we have the previously asked actual questions covered in this particular material. Okay, if I will show you the demo of let's suppose the coding PDF, you will find that we have the proper screenshot of the previously asked question and the correct code for it. Similarly, for the next question also you can see we have the actual screenshot for the coding question and the correct code for it. Similarly, in the pseudo code also we have previously asked screenshots of the pseudo code and the correct answers for them. You can see here. Okay, and similarly, it is the case with the technical MCQs that we have the previously asked question and we have the correct answers for them. So, guys. If you are preparing for Capgemini exam, the best way to is to by uh, solving the previously asked questions. Okay, if you are interested in this material, the links are in the description box, and we have a discount coupon of twenty percent also. So do check them out. You can find the links in the description box as well as in the pinned comment. So guys, now let's start, uh, continue with the video. Okay, so guys, the next question is compress a string such that consecutive consecutive repeated characters are represented by the character followed by its count. So the length of the input string will be from 1 to 100. The string will contain only lowercase alphabets. A string str of length n, okay, and then output should be a compressed string. So let's just understand with the help of example. So we have double a, 4 times b, 4 times e, then 2 times f, and then 3 times g. So this is the input string. We need to compress it. How we'll compress it? We will, what we'll do? We will uh, write each and alphabet each alphabet with the consecutive repetition so a is coming two times b is coming four times e is coming four times f is coming two times and g is coming two times so this is what the compressed output will be looking like g is coming three times sorry so yeah compressed output will be looking like this we have to compress it so i hope now the question is clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the approach of this question it will be again straightforward so let me just write it it will be double a triple b 4 times e and uh, f and g so this is the input that is given to us what we'll do now what we'll do we will maintain we will maintain a count variable which will store the count of the current character which will store the count of the current character we will start iterating the string by the second element we will start iterating the string by the second element why the second element because see first element is the starting point okay so a is coming one time we know and count values also in initialized with one only okay now what we'll do we will start iterating the string by first value so now if the current character okay if sorry if the current character that is str of i is double equivalent to str of oh sorry str of i minus 1 so if this is the condition that is getting fulfilled that the current character is equal to the previous character it means the current character is coming more than one time so what we'll do we will do count plus plus we will do count plus plus this is it okay else else means if the current character is not equal to the previous character okay so we have one final string also that we will be returning so final str also that we will be returning so final str is initialized with nothing okay else what we'll do now let's suppose we are at b so first b so it means that the current character is not equal to the previous character yes so now the character will be a the previous character will be a the count will be 2 because it was initialized with 2 uh, initialized with 1 and now at this a the count incremented to plus plus so count became 2 so else what we'll do we will in the final str 
we will first add the previous character okay first add the previous character that is str of i minus 1 okay plus what we'll do we will add the count of the previous character so what was the count of the previous character it was 2 so count 2 we will add it here so uh, if i will write it cleanly sorry so our final str first we will add plus equivalent to previous character str of i minus 1 then we will add the count of previous character plus equivalent to uh, two string this is two string to convert integer into something so two string count okay now the role of previous character is completed but now see we are currently at b so we will again initialize the count with one this is the entire algorithm you need to follow for each and every character each and every character that is given inside the string just these two lines and you will be good to go okay so what will happen after the first iteration so final str will become a2 then once b's iteration is cover, covered the final str will become a2 b3 because the new thing we are added in the previous final str okay and in the end we will be returning the final str value i hope the approach is now clear to you now let's just quickly move towards the code and again i am saying for saving time i have already written the code here so we are doing nothing we are given the input string we have a string result which is initially empty we have initialized the count variable with one we are iterating over the uh, string from second element that is i equivalent to one we are first checking first thing so if our current character is double equivalent to the previous character we are doing nothing but doing simply count plus plus but if our current character is not equal to the previous character in that case we are first in the result we are adding the previous character that is str of i minus 1 then we are adding the count of that previous character okay by converting it into the string and then we are again initializing the count by 1 because now as i have told you in the <coughs> string now the b character has started so the role of a is over so therefore we have initialized the count with one again okay and once this entire for loop runs we just have to return the result so let's just see i am writing a four times b three times okay b three times and c let's suppose five times yeah so let's just run it so let's just see does it compresses the string or not so it should be a4 b3 and c5 yeah so it has passed all the test cases that is given to us i hope this code is clear to you do write in the comment section anything that you have doubt with you can always join a telegram group and start a discussion there we will be happy to help okay so two coding questions i have discussed in this video previously pseudo codes also have discussed uh, on our channel so all you can find under this playlist and as i have told you in the video between that the best way to prepare for any of the exam is by solving the previously asked questions so in capgemini also we have the exam preparation material on our top mid page of code bashers and in this particular material you will find all the sections previously asked questions which are coming in cognizant or oh, capgemini whether it is a technical mcqs whether it is pseudo codes coding questions gaming questions essay writing all the previously asked questions for these these sections are present under this particular preparation material the links and the discount coupon i will give you in the description box as well as in the pinned comment do check them out